I'm Rudy Olsazen. I'm the Clinical Resource Consultant for Beckton Dickinson & Company. I'm a registered nurse by profession, a clinical nursing specialist for the past 19 years. I've suffered two needle sick injuries during the course of my profession thus far. First needle sick injury was when I was still a student. The patient was uncooperative and after having given the injection, the patient hit me and during the process of wanting to recap, inadvertently I stopped myself. I knew I did something wrong. I knew I was not supposed to recap, I went out of the room and then went to a basin and just bled my finger, let it run under the water and didn't want to go and report it to anybody within the healthcare facility at that present moment. I just kept quiet. Stigmatisation is still one of the big reasons why I didn't report immediately because of it being associated that either you did something wrong or yes, you are going to have HIV because you've suffered a needle sick injury. The second needle sick injury that I suffered was three years ago. One of my colleagues was giving an injection to the patient. The shop's container was a long distance from the bed. During the process of having to dispose the needle, she inadvertently stabbed me with the needle. After having suffered the first needle stick injury, one of my mentors confided in me to say that she suffered a needle stick injury. She contracted HIV. She did go on to the treatment, but she subsequently passed away three years ago. It affected me personally, but also in my work, my career professionally as to what I want to do and where I feel I can have the biggest impact within the clinical settings itself. Underreporting is still in this era in South Africa, a big challenge that we are facing because of pushback that we do find from managers and facilities in terms of to say that it is because you did something wrong. Only when we've got the numbers we will really know the scope of the problem or the challenge we are really facing and then only we will really know how to effectively deal with it. So facilities, managers need to say if you do suffer a needle stick injury please come and report it. Don't just leave it unreported. In South Africa we've come a long ways in the last 10, 15 years. The National Department of Health has got policies in place for reporting of needle sick injuries. Each facility also has got their own policies and procedures in place. The implementation at ground level where it's happening is still where we're experiencing the challenges and we need to actually look at adapting those policies and look at legislation around safety and safety devices within the healthcare setting itself. Only when we've got legislation that forces us to go to the safety route will move over to safety engineered devices. Hospitals and funders need to realise that the cost of treatment for a needle sick injury outweighs the cost of using a safety engineered device right from the beginning. It is preventable by just equipping staff with the right training the right devices right at the beginning when they start off with the clinical training. We as healthcare workers need to take ownership for our own clinical practice. The only way that we will be able to effectively address needle stick injuries further is to speak about it every single day. The more we speak up and the more we make it known that it is happening, the less the stigmatization will be there in due course in future.